Hi guys, today I would like to show you when it's better not to use stitch and scoop. Um, I'll start with a simple example. So if you take a cylinder for example and you want to create this, make this hollow, create a hole inside, many people would try to think the first idea that we create a second cylinder and put it inside of this and then scale it up a little bit uh, or scale it down first and you make it a smaller size and then you cut it out and uh, you move it up and make a hole and so on. The problem with that is that it may work in this particular example if you know the mat, how to scale it and make it smaller. So let's say you scale this down by, you know, it's 100, you select each side and you scale it down to 95. Um, and then you kind of need to still actually scale it up on one side so it's sticking out like this. And then you do stitch and scoop and you cut out this piece, you need to know which piece you're cutting out actually, I don't remember, I didn't name it, I have to name it to see, okay. So in this particular case this will work, uh, you have to know your measurements, I didn't position it to exact positions, but you can position it exactly and know the measurements and know the measurements in the bottom and make it work, and that can work. Um, but if you start like, dealing with more complex shapes, if you take for example a sphere, and if you want to take a sphere uh, and put it inside and start measuring exactly and get exact measurements, this will become quite difficult. I have seen some people will kind of make a boolean and then use add thickness to do that. And that's definitely uh, a problem because add thickness when you add to a solid object, if I add thickness, let's say something to this, and I'm adding thickness, let's say I'm adding five. This now has some thickness. This is thickness of five. If you're gonna delete a face or let's say two to be able to look into it, uh, you'll see it has the thickness inside over here, but it's basically a separate object. And if you're going to do magic fix on this, this will actually delete the inner object because there's no such a thing as a volume within a volume. If you're going to 3D print this, uh, some printers would accept that. If you're going to use self cut slicer, it will actually accept that, but it will show it the volume will basically print only this and not print the inside. So it's never a good idea to add thickness to a solid object. That's not what it's meant to, to do. It's meant to um, clean up um, basically problematic objects. So let's see what I have now. Let me see the size. I can see what I, if I undid it properly. Yes, okay. So add thickness is, is adding to, to add the, the uh, thickness and make it manifold. So how do I do if I want to do something like this, create a hole? Well, this is, there's a few ways of doing it. You can manually select objects and so on and doing it. But let me show you an example on a more complex object. I love to use the cube selection. So if I will do the cube selection, and suppose I want to cut off the, the top part. I know the size is 100. I want to cut off 20 from the top over here. So I'll move up the bottom to 80. So we select basically just the top and I confirm it. And then I click simply delete and I'm deleting this part. And now we have something without volume, without thickness. And now we're going to add the thickness to it. And I'll do five. Now I have a, a wonderfully uh, manifold object with thickness of five, and this will work. Um, in other cases, if we go back to the example of a simple cylinder, uh, you can simply use polygon selection. So let me just, while we are at it, show you that example as well. So if I take a cylinder, if you're going to try to select over here, you see you have a lot of small faces because the cylinder has a vertex in the bottom. And that's actually quite cool. You can select this vertex and move it up and start playing if you go to the vertex selection. But for now, I want to show you if you switch from here to the polygon selection, it will select the entire thing because it's an entire polygon. And then you simply click delete. And in this case, you have this. And now if you go to add thickness, and again, the same thing, let's add it five. Now you got this. And this is much easier to do than doing the Boolean operation. And in most cases, this will work you know, much better as well. So yeah, so that's basically a tip today. Let me know what you think. Thank you, bye.